Hello and welcome back to the SKU Savvy YouTube channel. Today we're going to go through a very quick video on how to simply fulfill an order. We are assuming that you've already connected with Shopify and have your Shopify orders flowing through, that you've got a little bit of inventory in your warehouse and have connected a carrier as well as added a few package sizes. With those assumptions in place to quickly fulfill just a single order, you're going to head on into your orders outbound and find the new order that you'd like to fulfill. Just simply click into that order. Here we can see any of the tags uh, as well as be able to click on this tag here to go exactly into Shopify with this order already selected. You can see the shipping method and the items that our customer has selected at checkout. And we can see the warehouse location that the order has been routed to. From here, you could reroute the order to a different location. In this case, we're just gonna keep it at our Austin warehouse and go ahead and click Fulfill. Click on Fulfill, which is going to create a single order batch to fulfill from. Here we can see that SKU Savvy has opened up on the visual map, the pick path for us, which has all of the items that we need to grab and their quantities. You can click on all to see each of the bin positions that we need to go through to complete this order fulfillment. And now we're just gonna go ahead and click on pick. By default, SKU Savvy is highlighting the oldest bin position. And I should also mention that you can turn on scans for both a bin scan as well as a product scan. And once we get to fulfillment, you'll also be able to turn on a fulfillment scan from the configuration options. So as I go through and have completed this pick now, we can head on over into the pack section. Again, we'll see the order information. We could also make an edit to our customer shipping address if we needed to. And if any kind of notes are associated with the order, you'll see them over here. So now that we have picked the item, we're gonna go through and package them up simply by tapping on the item here. Again, you could turn on a scan for this. So I'm gonna go through uh, I should indicate that you could at this point split the shipment into another shipment if you didn't have one of the items. Uh, you also could add a custom box size as well as a multi-box package here. And once we go through and package these all up, SKU Savvy will give us a recommended box size to warehouse. And so we'll select our box size and now you can see that we get the rates here for the carriers that we have connected. The carriers that you have connected are going to be shown within this section here that you could turn on or off various carriers. Uh, a num number of different options here as well. Once we have got our carrier rates, we'll go ahead and select the option that we want to get. So we're going to purchase this label and it's going to open up for us in a separate window to print that label off. So that's just printed off and now we have completed this order fulfillment and it has updated with the tracking information back to Shopify. Hopefully that's helpful. We'll see you on the next video.